let me ask you, is it the same for you? I don't know how it happened, but I was going through life doing the same thing every day and realized that finally I was really bored. You see, what has happened in is that I would get up in the morning, I'd have a wash, I'd go and have something to eat, and then I'd be off to do whatever I have to do during the day. In the evening, I'd come back, sit down, have something to eat, plonk myself in front of the TV, start watching something, and then slowly fall asleep. And then sometimes later in the evening, Debs would wake me up for me to go to bed. Does that ring a bell with you? And another thing that I used to do was while I was watching the TV, while I was still awake, I'd be doom scrolling down my phone, checking out what was going on in social media and doing all that kind of thing. And I was just so bored. You see, here's the thing about social media. It makes you think you're missing out. In the last week, we were watching as a lot of people that I knew were at a wedding in Spain. And as I looked down my Facebook page, there were loads of videos on there and photos of people just having a real good time. And it just made me feel as though it wasn't how I wanted my life to go. That wasn't how it was supposed to be. You see, social media is like a compilation album, if you like. It's like the Rolling Stones greatest hits where you put on side one and you see these people having fun, going out, doing things. The next track moves on and you see their nice new house that they've bought. The next track we're in, you look at the car they've got as they're driving through the seaside with the sun shining and all that sort of thing. And all the time you're doing that, you're feeling more and more left out of things. So these people were having nicer times, doing more things, going to parties, going to sports, going to do all those sorts of things, while I was sitting at home, scrolling down my Facebook page, doing nothing, and wondering how they got to live the life that they're living. If this seems familiar to you, why not leave a comment down below and let me know if you're affected by it in the same way that I am. And what it does, it makes us think that we're the only ones living a dull and boring life and are running in this routine that's rather monotonous. But the fact of the matter is, the lives we see on Facebook aren't real lives. They're still going through all the things that we go through. But occasionally, just occasionally, they'll go out and make sure that everybody in the world knows it because they're on Facebook. I know successful people who are in the same boat as I am, and as you may well be. I've got a friend who, I'd go and see him in his engineering firm and he'd be in his office. And I'd pop in to see him for something. And while I was there, for maybe 20 minutes, he would have four or five interruptions of things that needed to be checked out on and things that need to be done. And he'd say to me, I'm sick of all this. All I ever do is answer questions, do phones. <laughs> and he wasn't doing anything afterwards. He was going home and getting to bed worn out because he worked such long hours. He'd get up early in the morning, go to work, spend all day. More work than most of us would do. But at five o'clock when his staff went home, he'd go in the office and do stuff like that. And so it doesn't necessarily mean that even having more money will make your life much better. And so what I decided to do was look into some things to see how I could change the way I was living my life. And so before I carry on, if this video is striking a chord with you, please give us a like, share it with your friends. And if you want to find out more about the type of videos that I do, you're more than welcome to subscribe. So what was it? I did to change things. Let's start with the phone. Instead of social media and all that sort of stuff, I'd play a bit of music. I can read a book off the phone. 
I could use the phone as a phone, pick it up, talk to someone. Then of course, you can put the phone down and you can do what I'm doing now. I'm out having a walk and we've had a rough bit of weather. Look at this river behind me. And now let's look into the fields over there. There is absolutely water everywhere. Now, talking of going out and having a walk, what other things could you do with that spare time? Well, if you were energetic, which I'm not, you could go jogging. And instead of taking it calmly as you walk in this wonderful countryside, you can have a little run through it. If you feel particularly energetic, well, you could always go to the gym. Have you got any hobbies that you've done over the years? Because there are so many things you could be doing. Perhaps you like a bit of gardening. Nah, that's not for me either. I hate doing the gardening, but I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who love it. Did you ever play chess? How about taking up a board game? In fact, in this country, there are pubs that open now where they have board game evenings. And so you get to socialize as well. People will go out to the pub and get into little groups and play board games. Now that would take the edge off the boredom, wouldn't it? Perhaps you like baking or cooking, make some bread, perhaps sewing, knitting, all that sort of stuff. Once again, <laughs> Not my kind of thing, but you know, there are things. You just have to kind of take the time and decide that you're gonna look for something for you. The old river seems to be flowing really quickly around here. Let's have a look. This is one of the things that you can do though. It's gotta be better having a walk out like this than being stuck at home in front of the TV. Maybe you can't do this. Maybe you're not fit enough to even walk, but there are other things you can do. And I think the key is to not just get dragged into that rut. It's so, so easy to do. And I know because I've done it myself. So what things do you like to do? What things did you used to do that you don't do now? Well, you could find a place in your schedule and try and do that. One of the things you could do is sit down with a bit of paper, get a pen, and write down all the things that you used to do that you no longer do. Things that you used to quite enjoy. Perhaps photography is your thing. You could go out and do that. There is just so much if you think about it. The trouble is, I think, Actually stopping and thinking about it is the thing that stops us from doing most things. Now I know we've had some dodgy weather, but right here where I am now, the river look, has broken the banks and it's right across the park. I don't know if you can see that, look. You should have came here yesterday, it's all up. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? As I walk through this now with my soaking wet feet, <laughs> I have to say that this has been quite fun and it's nice to get out of the house and just take a little break from your routine and as you can see <laughs> people seem to have a lot of fun today in this hobbies and things why not check out the, the things that you like to do have a go at it write a list and if you're not sure, well, if you look up there, I've got a video up there about hobbies and what different types of ones you could do. Because I like to be helpful. Anyway, that's about it from me for today. So if you've enjoyed the video, why not come back next time? I'll see ya. Ta-da now.